Hey guys, I am so excited to share the super activity for the week, which is number line. And it's basically um, in maths. So um, I was supposed to do this with Devan like two months back. But due to our uh, not very fixed schedule, I wasn't able to start that at that time with him. Uh, you should ideally start number line once you think your child is ready to do addition or subtraction. So, of course, addition comes first. So, that's the time when you start the number line uh, as a concept with them. I was, uh, Vivan's school had done addition with him. And uh, so, at the same time, I did it at home as well. He has all little concept of number line, but it's not very clear. It's not something that we've been following. I really wanted to pick it up and do it as a system. So that once we start doing this, we do addition or whatever we do next happens with the number line. So what I've done, I have made a very easy peasy hands on um, activity sheets for him, for him to figure out what's a number line, what, how do we go, what do we do about it, how do we make it, what is it for. So as you can see, there is one fact card here which says number line and I've made a number line here and uh, the arrow which is showing here is like this is greater because anything which is on the right hand side is greater in number line. So I am just going to focus on the greater right now and not on the left hand side which is like minus. So I'm going to tell Vivan that the number line starts from zero and you can go up to whichever number you want. But to begin with we'll uh, do from zero to ten. Uh, the intervals in between they really don't matter because it really depends on what, how are you placing the number. Uh, I mean, in terms of the distance, uh, would just not matter. And uh, this is basically just to let him know that this is how a number line looks like. And then I'm going to read it to him with some examples and with some um, uh, activities that I've done. So a line on which numbers are marked at intervals is a number line. Number line is not a ruler. Uh, the space between numbers does not, doesn't matter. It's a stage one for addition and subtraction. A number ladder is a vertical version of number line. So what's a number ladder? It's gonna I, I'm gonna tell you later. But that's something that our kids have been doing, and um, it, it's a very 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 simple graph. Which I it's it's just right here. Uh, if you want some more clarification, you can actually like let me know, and I can give you some more details on number line. But just to give an introduction to Vivan, I thought this is like cool enough and should be fine for him to understand. The the most important thing is. To tell him like from 0 to 10, once on this side is a greater number. So that arrow and the little uh, bubble mark here which is greater is, is very important. The terminology is like this is called number line. Of course, it's the most important thing to say. So that's one. To begin with, to do the activity is what I've done here is I have like uh, on a blank paper. I have uh, made a line and I'm going to tell Vivan to copy it the way it's here. So with the help of a pen, he needs to make exactly the same thing here, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's going to just give him a feeling of making a number line by himself. So that's going to be our first activity. First is to read the fact card. And then the second one is to try and make a number line by ourselves. So I'm sure it's not going to be easy the first time. But as he's very happy writing the numbers, so I think it should not be very, very difficult too. Okay, so that was our first activity, guys. Um, number two is, um, it's just right here. So what I've done again, I've taken number, uh, a number line here and just to not keep it very serious. I would be just telling him to arrange the pom poms in terms of number lines, in terms of counting. So the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're not placed right now. I have just put them in terms of, uh, just for the video. I will remove them and later if Ivan wants to stick them, he can stick them or if he just wants to like put them across, uh, he will put it. So like this, he's going to understand that how is it placed and how is it uh, increasing in this uh, manner. So this is only to tell him the greater number, the increase, the, the way the chronological, chronological order. Yes, so this activity, uh, this activity is basically for that. Okay, so this is one uh sorry i mean i had the second activity was actually the other one but it's okay 
so after i do number line with vivan i'm going to do this with him so i have make, uh, made another fact card which is not nothing much but uh, addition fact card which is like uh, a vocabulary builder or maybe action words so whenever we are doing addition we need to make sure that it doesn't come as the word addition or a sign like which is plus it comes with a different words i mean the synonyms of addition so i have listed few of them and i'm going to read it to vivan and i i have to tell him that a lot of times when you read different different things they would be using these words to say that this is addition so like both total plus join sum together combine more than how many and increase so i thought this is like great way to even tell him the synonyms of addition so that once he's doing it he can understand uh guys i think this is like really important for you to make so even if you are not following the number line or if you you i mean if whatever method you are following at least make these fact cards so that they know i mean what all words can they expect when they are doing addition or when they're reading something or when somebody's talking about so like when we go out and we shop we say what's the total so i mean the moment they will hear the word total they know like wow they have to add everything so i mean uh, how about like combining everything together so more than so uh, these are the words which we like we use it day i mean day in and day out so let the kids all to understand that the same words the action words or the vocabulary builder words are just they are not very difficult words these are the same words which are synonyms of the word addition so i think this is this is going to be a great thing for vivan to learn okay as i was uh, talking about oh my god okay one second guys okay as i was talking about the number line and the number ladder so this is what number ladder is it's basically uh, very similar to number line it's just in uh, the straight forward method it's just like a, in a ladder form so uh, i have made it in a ladder form and again i have put it on 0 2 and 5 because once we will do the addition i want to keep the same thing everywhere which is like 2 plus 3 so like from 0 to it will go to 2 and from 2 we have to say 1 2 3 it will come to 5 so 2 plus 3 is actually 5 and that's how the answer is going to be i've written a number line here a number ladder here so that we don't get confused and even if he says it's a number line it's fine but the the correct term is number ladder okay so our next activity i'm sorry guys it just like oh, i made sure that it doesn't fall down but just it just fell Okay so uh I'm going to remove them and I'm going to show it to you. So I this is a blank piece of paper. So after we do number ladder, we will be making a number ladder for ourselves. So Vivan would be uh with the help of a scale and I have a little funky scale here which is a 3D scale. So with the help of the scale we are going to make a number line here. He needs to uh make a straight line and I will help him to um create the lines and write 0 to 10. and then with that we will be creating the pyramids on the number line so like this is so this is 1 this is going to be 2 and then we have 2 and then goes 3 i am just using my foam blocks uh and they are pretty colorful they are very nice and i think they are very good for stacking counting and doing such kind of activities so like this he has to make until 10 so mm -hmm. we have enough of them for him to use and i don't think so there should be a problem so i think this is going to be a great fun activity for him to explore different uh, uh objects as well at the time of just studying okay uh to i mean just to after finishing this activity i have lined up another uh practical life activity here so i had my paper plates right here with me and what i did i just opened them and they were like already numbered so from 0 to 10 up till there uh he has to put them together so i would be put, giving it to him like this and then he has to place them together as a number line and see all these things our kids have been doing it uh, while they were like learning numbers but just as a individual concept we would be telling them now okay going forward we have another activity here which is uh missing the square on the number line so you have 0 to 10 here and there is a block here on 0 then there is on 3 
then there is a six and then there's a nine so there are two missing on each one so Vivan has to pick up the blocks and he needs to fill so it is going to be one here and then two here and then he needs to fill two more two more two more so these are basically just exercises and like different kind of activities to just do and they revolve around the number lines so this is basically to fill in numbers then we have another head scratcher uh, activity here which is all about missing and uh, filling up the numbers so the first line you see you have a zero missing you have a five missing and you have a 10 missing so he has to figure out that what is what's going to come before one and by now we would have done a lot of uh, number line activities so he would know that it starts with zero and once he goes through he knows that he this five missing and you're 10 missing so again here in the second one we have one missing and then we are like skip counting here and then again we have like zero missing here a four missing here a nine ten missing here so these are all like the missing uh, number line it's just to make him understand that, that that's how a number line works and uh, a number line can have as different numbers maybe two four six eight ten only uh, but to begin with i'll keep it simple and i'll be we'll follow just zero to ten so that's one guys and of course our basic aim is to teach addition uh, and that's how i'm going to teach you that's the addition card that i have and that's the number line and the first, the matter of fact is that we ha we are taking just one um, uh, addition point today, which is 2 plus 3, which is 5. So I'm showing here, here from 0 to he has to come to 2, and then he has to count 3 more. So 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the pen from here goes to here, and the answer is 5. So I'm going to do a lot of activities around this with Vivan as uh, if he understands. Of course, this is going to happen uh, throughout the week and we would be doing a lot more exercises. To, to just complement with this, I have made uh, an addition board here. So it's just 2 plus 3, which I will help him to make first. Then 4 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 0 plus 5, 2 plus 1. So these are all from 0 to 6 and not even 0 to 10. Uh, I think it's easy. It's It's good to keep it simple. Uh, in the beginning and uh, let me see how he responds but uh, I, I hope it, it uh, he understands it pretty well and I will surely let you know that how how is he going and if we have any difficulties in between so that's it guys that was our video on number line if you like it please do like it and if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe thanks for watching see ya bye